Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing my first unboxing video in quite a while. Actually more of an unpacking because there is not a physical box here. And I'm actually going to be reviewing the shopping service I used for this order. So I used jpshopping.jp, which is just called Japan Shopping Service, to order a Jane Marple dream dress off of Mercari. So why did I try this shopping service? That's a great question. Their website looks like it's from about 2002, if not earlier, and it doesn't exactly invoke a sense of confidence <laughs> to see how like whack their website is. And I saw a recommendation for this shopping service like a long time ago, and I guess it was always in my head, and I thought I'm gonna live on the edge and try this shopping service. Now, they do have very low fees which is what enticed me into giving this service a shot. In fact, their fees for ordering up to 10,000 yen are 10%, and if you order more than 10,000 but under 20,000, it's a flat fee of 500 yen plus 5%, and if you order over 20,000, it's only 5% for your whole order. Now, that's pretty cheap, <laughs> so there's no restriction on say if I order a 100 yen pair of used socks that they're going to give me a flat fee of 300 yen. No, it's actually based on your whole entire order. So I ordered a dress and I ordered three pairs of socks and that totaled about 13,000 yen and I paid only about 1,150 yen for my service charge. So I thought, well, that's kind of too good to be true. Like, that is pretty inexpensive because uh, there was no penalty for ordering small things like little pairs of socks. So, yeah. Overall, my experience with them was really awesome. And that's considering that I haven't opened this yet to see what it's actually like. I ordered my stuff on December 31st, and they were actually on holiday. They said that they would be responding to no emails until January 3rd and they wouldn't be shipping packages or anything like that until the 3rd but they actually ordered my stuff right away it was within a day that they actually placed my orders even though they said they were on holiday and by January 7th they had received everything and they were ready to ship it out now they offered tons of shipping options from EMS which is of course the priciest all the way down to SAL so I kind of went the middle road. I got the registered airmail, and they charged uh, 1,370 yen for that. Very reasonable, just kind of a standard price for that service. Now there was a hiccup with the shipping of this order. It made it to the United States just fine, and it departed Queens, New York after clearing customs. It actually took it a whole week for it to get from Queens to the state of Pennsylvania where I live. And that kind of worried me a lot because that's not typical. And I realized when I got this package that this front part is like incredibly faded. So it's extremely difficult to read my address on this package, especially the zip code. It's almost impossible to make out. Now the barcode and the tracking number are perfectly intact. So at some point somebody saw this and figured out where it was supposed to go. So I don't know if that was their fault or something else. There is kind of like a torn off section here. It kind of looks like what was underneath was a carbon copy of something that was on top. And whatever was on top was at some point torn off. That's kind of how it looks. So it may not be their fault. It may be the postal service's fault. So that is worth noting. Now when you order from this service, after you mentally get past the hurdle of their antiquated website. You pretty much do everything yourself. You enter the URLs for the things you want to buy. They don't seem to have any restriction on what shops you can buy from. And you have to enter the amount in yen that the item costs and you have to enter the item name which you can just copy and paste. And then you pay right then and there. So if for whatever reason you would say, yeah that dress is, you know, 10,000 yen, but I'm going to claim it's 7,000. They have you pay what you say, but I assume that they manually check the order and then they would charge you extra or maybe they would just cancel it. I don't know. 
but it's not a very long wait from when you pay to when you order. You pay right then. There are some extra fees you could incur if you leave items in their storage or if you have them split an order into multiple packages. I didn't do any of that. And they also have an auto bidding service for Yahoo Auctions that I also did not try. So I went with kind of a middle of the road order, not a small order, but not a really large haul for trying out this service. Also, when you choose your shipping method, you fill out your customs form yourself. So since there are no custom charges for ordering used clothing from Japan to America, I just went ahead and declared the full value and was very honest about what's in here. So I filled out used dress, you know, for 10,000 yen and three used pairs of socks for 3,127 yen, the, just the exact amount. So you could probably mark that down if you needed to. So obviously my review of this shopping service will not be complete until I see the quality of the items inside, or at least you know how they pack them and whether they are the correct items. I ordered a Jane Marple dream dress of mine. Obviously not a super expensive one, so it was only 10,000 yen, but it was a dress I've really wanted for a long time. I was quite nervous about ordering it because I don't own any dresses from Jane Marple and I'm not entirely sure that the size is going to be amazing. The straps aren't adjustable and that is kind of like my criteria for buying a new main piece is that it has adjustable straps. But I went with it anyway and we'll see how it goes. I have high hopes. I can see it now <laughs> and I'm so hyped. I really hope it fits. So here it is. I believe this is called Crown Stripe, is the name of the print. This is actually the pink colorway of this print. It, I mean, I would have called this green if I were determining what to name this. And there is a little sticker on the front. It says, uh, thank you for purchasing in Japanese. I, I don't know if that was from the original seller on Mercari or if that was put on there by Japan Shopping Service is probably from the original seller. And here this is packaged nicely in plastic. Very nice and safe. And here it is. <laughs> I'm like so excited but so nervous at the same time. I really wanted this print because I just feel like there are so many ways to cohort this that are unique from anything I currently own because it's it's got green, not mint, but actual green, and it has yellow, and it has blue, and it has pink, and it has crowns, and it has flowers, and it has keys. I mean, look at this beautiful thing. So now that this is in my hands, I can tell it's a lot wider than I thought it might be. That's definitely going to fit in the bust. Um, just as I suspected, it's, it's going to be high-waisted. Which I, which I assume because it's not adjustable. And there are waist ties. And interestingly, I didn't realize that it would be like this. These are actually attached to the dress. I wasn't sure whether they would be put on with buttons or, you know, maybe a full green, you know, ribbon thing going all around. But no, they are attached. And in the back is such a beautiful zipper. I have seen people rave about Jane Marple's zipper ties before. And if you look real close here, this is a crown. It's really pretty for the zipper. Very nice. It doesn't, it doesn't have rhinestones in it. That would have made it a little more luxurious, but it's still very nice. As for the length, it looks like it's going to be a, a pretty good length. So even though it, this is going to be high-waisted on me, it definitely will be long enough for me to wear. So. A lot of my worries are now assuaged because I just think I'm going to totally love this dress. The fabric is pretty thin. I, this is definitely not like a thick, wintry, thick cotton fabric. If I look inside, maybe I can figure out what it was made out of. There's not like a ton of Jane Marple information in English compared to other brands. And yeah, I'm searching and like not finding the tag immediately, so I'm going to abandon that at this time. Um, it does have kind of like a worn look to it. I think this was released in 2010 or 11, like sometime around then. I could be totally wrong. 
but you know it definitely doesn't feel brand new I'm not seeing any stains or damages and even if they were considering it was wrapped in plastic that would not have been the fault of the shopping service everything is stitched on very nicely as you can see there's no lace no frills no pin tucks or anything like that this is definitely more of an otome look I know a lot of Japanese wearers of Jane Marple do consider the brand to be Lolita. I'm not sure whether that would really fly here in the West or not, but I'm super hyped to wear this and I'm going to wear it as soon as possible. So now I have the socks. Now let's see what we have here. I'm seeing two pairs that are kind of loose in here. There's supposed to be three pairs total and I'm thinking that the third is going to be in this really weird looking bag. I guess this is just how it came from the seller and uh, Japan's shopping service just kind of threw it in here. Okay, so yeah, definitely three pairs of socks here. This is the one that I'm most excited for, I guess. I have a excessive collection of over the knee socks, I will admit. However, I have very few that are red and white that aren't strawberry pattern, but I have a lot of main pieces where I would wear red and white pattern socks that aren't strawberry pieces. So this kind of fills in, in a hole in my wardrobe, which is why I wanted these socks. These are from Baby. They have a little Usakuma on the back. And as for the level of wear, there is some wear on these, but really not a lot at all. It's, like, it's more like wear than stain. You know, sometimes you get used socks and they're really brown on the bottom. These are kind of more like, I don't know, scuffed, if you will, rather than stained. So probably the person who owned these wore these, you know, several times, but they probably wore them with house slippers because they're not really very stained. So these are Innocent World. And the, the seller used this really cool tape that has the planets on it. Very interesting to see the kinds of things that Japanese sellers package their items with. Always a fun surprise. And these are Innocent World socks that have a strawberry pattern on them. And there's a little like thread there stuck to itself. So here we have some darker blue and sax colored bows and red and pink strawberries. Now anyone who has seen my summer cohorts would know that I am kind of strawberry obsessed, so I'm really excited to have a new pair of strawberry socks with new colors of bows on, unlike anything I currently own. And these look completely unworn. There are like some very faint hairs in them. They look like probably, you know, short dog or cat hairs, but there is absolutely no wear on these whatsoever. I would say that these are you know, new without tags, level of nice. And here we have a pair that is very exciting because these are these actually are new with tags. And you'll see when I unbox, well, open these, that the tag is a very old looking Innocent World tag compared to the tags they have now. This is actually the very first new with tags Innocent World item I've ever gotten that has this style of tag. So it has two really cute cupids on it. And here we can see Innocent World's prices have, uh, you know, not changed at all since wherever they were, the, this was made. You know, these sold for 2,500 yen without tax. And yeah, I'm just really excited to have a, a new with tags, anything Innocent World that's this old. Their website, this is interesting, it says it's http colon slash slash www.innocentworld.tv. I have not been in Lolita fashion long enough to remember when they had a .tv URL. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy. But I will keep and treasure this tag. Okay, so as for the socks themselves, um, I wear a lot of blues, a lot of shades of blue, and I also really like florals. In fact, the dress that my husband is probably going to be getting me for Valentine's Day is a blue floral dress, so I will likely wear these with that dress. And because these are new, there's no wear whatsoever, there's no 
hair whatsoever that still has a little metal thing on the bottom. So now I have a beautiful brand new pair of Innocent World floral socks that it feels like I paid next for nothing to own. So overall my review, extremely positive. I would definitely order from Japan's shopping service again. I will just ignore their whack website and enjoy their low fees and hope that this wasn't just a fluke. You know, you can't tell just from one order whether sometimes they mess orders up or, you know, whether sometimes they send you someone else's order. That kind of thing happens with some of these smaller services. So time will tell. But considering that I paid the price for all of these plus only 1150 yen as a fee, I just feel like it was a total steal. So I hope that maybe someone else will try this service, give them a little bit of business, and that if you do, you don't get like screwed or something <laughs> because of my horrible review. All right, thanks for watching.